Here's the context sensitive help that I was been talking about. So we can just tab between the different fields and see the graphic on the right hand side updating. That includes all the different types of styles, whether it's upper or lower, descriptions show up in the reports, notes show up in the reports, left filler, right filler, width, height, depth, number of shelves, pullouts, dividers, stretchers, hangers, so that would be top, bottom, both, front offset, back offset, left, right, the number of drawers, drawer templates, it's just a graphic, um, we don't know which one you're going to add into the system so we can't go into the individual ones. Same with the drawers, just show you some hardware. And then here we're going to show you the heights. Okay, for the drawer, different drawer heights. Okay, the same with the doors, the door count, one or two or none. Drawer templates, same idea, handles, skinning of the sides, this is the finished sides, so here we have both, the right hand, the left hand, none. Same with the uh, finished panels, you can have finished panels, so here's your left, here's your right, here's both. Okay, um, oh, I guess if you have them, then we show you what the front overhang means, what the top overhang, what the bottom overhang. Finish backs. So the check mark shows you when it's checked, when the check box is checked. Um, if we have that checked, then this shows you your left overhang, your right overhang. Okay, let's go on to rules. Same idea, this shows you the shelf width adjustment at the front. These are the ends of the shelf or a little bit extra for the shelf supports. Lower brace width, upper brace width, stretcher widths. One width to handle all the sizes of the stretchers. Sink stretcher width, okay, hanger. This shows you whether you're going to edge the hanger or not. Side notch, kick height. This is the upper height top edge, so that's that value. Here's where you, if you omit backs, then the, we won't draw in a back. That's the check mark, is the check side. Um, if, if you uh, have backs, you can have it finished one side and that would be the check mark again so it's raw board on the outside. Here's your uh, back offset. This is your uh, back dado or rabbit. Ex uh, ex this is extending the back right to the floor when you have an integrated kick. So and here's where you slide in the back. Uh, some, some manufacturers like to slide the back in and have it sandwiched in between the top and the hanger or the nailer. Here's the omitting of the sink top for a sink unit. Split tops as opposed to a solid top. Integrated kicks, this shows you the integrated kick. So it just extends the side to the floor. Omitting kicks entirely if you want that option. Here's skinning of the uppers. So you can skin the bottom, you can skin the top, none or both. Edging of the case, so this, so essentially here if you check this on then the finished material gets, the, the edging of the casework gets finished with the finished material. Here's uh, the drawer slide adjustment, so 25.4 millimeters in this case is divided between those two areas drawer height uh, adjustment so this is subtracting a certain amount from your standard drawer height 
This is the depth uh, um, drawer depth adjustment at the back to allow for your back this sort of thing. In other words, we take the overall depth of the cabinet, subtract this amount, and that's the maximum size your your drawer can be. This is the drawer depth increment, and what we do here is some manufacturers like to make drawer uh, the depth of the drawers increment in even material. So in this case the guy likes to use 50 millimeters so he'd make a drawer 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, no other sizes. This type of thing. Here's your drawer front overhang. Um, this is the drawer bottom offset. So we, we're going to raise the bottom up by uh, a certain amount. Uh, drawer bottom dado. So if we have an offset of zero the way I have it here, not in the picture but in the in the entry, and then make the 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 uh, drawer bottom dado the same um, depth as the f as the side, then we do an, a different type of a uh, construction and we paste the uh, the bottom drawer bottom on the bottom. And we'll see what happens there when we um, get down to edged drawer bottom. So here, here's your um, your drawer back height adjustment. So this guy wants to draw up his uh, the the drawer part down by 10 millimeters. Um, here's the bottom. This picture shows you the bottom of the drawers. And uh, in this case, uh, if you finish one side, check that off. Then it's raw material on the bottom. Uh, here's here's where we're edging the drawer bottom and this is again is where I was saying earlier if uh, you set the the drawer bottom dado to the same width as the uh, thickness of the side then it'll build it this way. So you may want to edge that or maybe you have a slide that'll cover it. Um, drawer grain horizontal this is checked here uh, so the drawers will have their grain going this direction. Um, door gap, door protrusion, hinge angle. Um, this uh, for angled units, uh, we take a measurement. This was this picture shows about 30 millimeters, um, and then we've divided it by two and, and assigned that amount to adjust the angled door. Return, same idea. Uh, re uh, return pull adjust and those were for only for returns pull out height uh, pull out clearance interval insertion point this can be uh, either now at the, f the front corner or the back corner okay um, materials same idea this just sort of shows you what you know we consider this the case we consider these shelves, dividers, hangers, stretchers, back material, drawer box material, drawer bottom. Uh, the, this is just pointing at the uh, frame of the door, uh, the frame of the drawer, and now it's pointing at the panels. Finished material on the sides, kick material at the bottom. Okay, and, and again, we just change all of this as we go through. Doors. I haven't finished the um, the uh, stretchers over, or the profiles over here, but uh, this will show you that uh, a, a drawer, glass, mirror, and then over here, here's a, 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 all your doors, all the different ones that were producing right now. Um, shows you what your style width is. This shows you a half height rail so if you check it then the rail gets half the height. And your this shows you your default so this is just the rule. A little bit of math. Uh, so this is a different drawer. Uh, so you pick your template pick your template for doors. This is the upper uh, door template. This is just says default library so you can build many libraries if you want um, by adding this in. Uh, Baltic 
um, this shows you just uh, materials, pulls. Uh, this is your offset. This is what we, we mean by an offset for your handle. So it's from the top edge or the bottom edge to the center of the handle. And uh, that's all, folks. Thank you.